Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. Today marks the start of Planner Week. So I thought this going back to school season would be a great time to kind of talk about planners and some different options that are out there and just share with you my love of planners and planning and journaling. So we're gonna jump right in. So today I thought I would talk about just kind of like an intro to what this week is gonna be about, some accessories, like some materials, and then also to just kind of touch on Google Calendar because um, I think that's kind of an overlooked source of planning and helping you stay on track. I love planning. I have had a planner of some sorts for probably the last decade on and off using it, whether I've been like really committed to using it or something that I just kind of jump on and off throughout the year and get excited and then forget about it later. I love it. Even though I haven't gone back to school in a while, I still get kind of giddy around this season of like going back to school and all that kind of stuff because I, I used to love going back to school. I loved school supply shopping. I loved shopping for clothes before school. And so I feel like that kind of translates to today a little bit still. Like this time of year, I still get giddy and I want to like get organized and plan things and get a notebook or something. And so I thought this was just the perfect time of year to kind of jump into this a little bit. This year I have been using a happy planner, which I'm going to talk about later in the week. And I've been loving it. But I've also been super interested in some other options that are out there. So I want to kind of jump into these planners for a few weeks, kind of get my feet wet a little bit, kind of understand them a little bit, and then share them with you. Because I think planners can be a little overwhelming. There's some expensive ones out there. There's some cheaper ones that you can find on Amazon and like even some free ones I'm going to be talking about. One of the reasons I enjoy planners is that I just enjoy the aspect of planning my week out and kind of looking ahead, even though a lot of times, honestly, my planner does not keep me on track. It doesn't keep me like, it doesn't remind me of things a lot of times, unless I'm looking at it like 24 seven. But I do feel like it makes my week approachable. If I know of a lot of events that are going on, I like to be able to see them ahead of time and most of the time, honestly, I feel like once you write something down, you're going to remember it. You're going to be more likely to remember it. I really love planners for that. I feel like it makes me a little bit more organized, a little bit more put together and oh, like, but mostly it just kind of makes me like feel grounded a little bit, if that makes sense. I'm going to jump in and tell you some of my favorite accessories and like materials that I use for planning. First, most importantly, is pens. I enjoy pens. I like writing in black. Um, a lot of people like writing in different colors. I just really enjoy black. Occasionally I'll throw in another color, but I like the look of black because I just like black and white and I like to be able to see it like simplify and then I can add a color for like accent if I want to. So some of my favorite pens. These are the Stedler Triple Plus Fine Liner and they're a marker pen. They're really fine, so if you want to write small, this is great. Another one that's super similar to this. Oh, and by the way, you can find these at Target all the time. Um, I bought this four pack there, I think for around five or six dollars. They do have colored ones, but again, I don't really do colored. Second is the Sharpie pens. I love these. These were actually my first find. These are very similar to the Stedler ones. Um, again, they're just like a felt tip pen and they're very fine. I first got these in black and I really enjoyed them. I found this pastel color collection which I actually enjoy. So it includes like a mint green, like a corally pink color, a brighter pink, a light blue, and then I think it was the black with it because I think it was like five colors, four or five. Um, and those are really great. I think my least favorite pen but like something that I still use are the Pilot G2 pens. These are great pens. My dad always loved these. Like I grew up with these black ones around my house everywhere. Like my mom would buy them in giant packs from Costco because this was the only pen that my dad would use. And I have to say, 
they're pretty great. I have two different size ballpoint pens here. I have the black is in 05, which is a little bit finer, and then I have this purple, in which I have a few other colors. I have like a green and a pink, um, that they're actually metallic, which is kind of fun. And this is in 0, or sorry, this is in 07, and these are a little bit more of like a medium point pen, and they just are really great. I feel like I do go through them quite fast though because the ink in here, I don't know, it just doesn't last a long time and if they ever explode on you, you're in trouble. But these are great too. The only thing is that they don't dry immediately where my other ones dry like once you write them. These ones are going to leave a little bit of a residue around and that means you're going to have potential for bleeding or for like transfer, which isn't my favorite but they are great pens. Something also to not forget about is pencils. I like mechanical pencils because they're gonna stay sharp and ready to use, but a good pencil is always nice to have around in case if you're not sure of something or you're trying to draw something out. A pencil is great because you can erase it. Pen, you're gonna have to figure something else out, whether it's a sticker or like washi tape over it. You're gonna have to cover it if you are a perfectionist like me. Another thing that I like to have around, but not like a ton, like I don't use it very frequently, is highlighters and like some sort of like sharpie maybe. So like here I've got a pink sharpie highlighter actually, and here I have a metallic silver off-brand sharpie. And so these come in handy when you're trying to do something specific or I don't know, you're trying to like make something pretty, um, where a pen or a pencil just isn't going to cut it, or even a colored pen isn't going to really do what you want, a highlighter or a pen is really nice. Something else that I just can't live without in my planners is sticky notes. This was my first page of sticky notes I ever had. There's a bunch of different little options on here. I add these to my calendar pretty much weekly. Like They're really great to just add in and write notes and they just are super helpful. I did pick up these two little ones as well. There's actually like three different kinds of notes in this one, and then two in here. I really liked this one. There's two little list pads. One says now, one says later. Something like this is so helpful, especially for me. I make lists all the time, whether it's something that I wanna get done for the day or things I need to prepare or whatever. A list pad is great for that. Then there's stickers. So a lot of people that do planning love stickers. I like stickers. I think they're a fun addition, but a lot of times I get annoyed with stickers. Like it's just too much for me. It's just too many things to think of and it's just not practical and so I think they're fun if you're looking to like decorate your calendar or something. They're kind of fun. I have like some washi tape stickers as well as like some like metallic things. I've got little floral things. I have this booklet of stickers that have just all kinds of like reminder notes, calendar, date things. There's just so many options out there for stickers and they're fun. They're just not up my alley. Like I like to make my planner cute, but I don't have that much time to like sit down and like make a scrapbook of my planner, if you know what I mean. Something else that's fun to add, again, if you have time or if you're looking to add something fun, is washi tape. So I have a few options here. I've got like some glitter and then some other little ones. They're just really fun if you want to add it to like the top of a page or to accent something. And these are going to come in really handy later this week. We're going to look at the bullet journal and I think this is going to be super helpful there. But definitely not necessary. But you can find them like a lot of places. I've gotten some at the Dollar Tree. I've gotten some at Target for really inexpensive. And so something you can use but it's definitely not necessary at all. Something else that comes in handy is just an old-fashioned ruler. This one's kind of cute. It's got like wood and like silver on it, but this comes in handy if you're trying to like draw a graph or any kind of thing like that. I'm just really a perfectionist and I like straight lines and I want it to be perfect and if it's not, I'm going to be bummed and I'm going to want to like rip out that page and start over. 
And so a ruler helps. A ruler will really help. I feel like it's overlooked often and you probably wanna think of using a ruler when you're planning, but it's very helpful. Lastly, is whatever your planner is. So whether you are using a notebook of some kind or later in the week I'm gonna show you how to just like put one together with some free print-offs or even with just like some paper or it's something you can print off, whatever, or something that you buy like my happy planner, I don't have it on me right this second for some reason. Or if it's something that you can kind of like build your own, there's actually a lot of options out there nowadays where you can kind of build your own planner and there's lots of accessories for it. Target has it often, Michaels has it often, and there's just so many options out there. But you are gonna need something to use as a planner, whether you wanna use a notebook or some sort of planner, you gotta start with that for sure. That and pens are like really the only things you need. So I did want to touch on Google Calendar today. I used to use Google Calendar a lot with my old work and it is super helpful. My husband uses it a lot. I get notifications from his calendar all the time. I use it occasionally. I could use it more. It'd probably be helpful because that is the one planner that you can use, one calendar that you can use that is going to send you reminders on this thing that you carry around all the time. The Google Calendar app is actually quite nice and really pretty to look at. I would suggest starting with the app and using it on your laptop is really easy. So a few pros about Google Calendar. One, like I said earlier, is you always have it with you. You've always got this phone thing with you. You've probably always got a laptop or an iPad or a tablet of some kind with you. Whether you're at work or you're going on a vacation or something, you're probably always gonna have your device with you. That means Google Calendar is always going to be with you, which is super helpful if you're looking for reminders and something to like keep you on track. Second is it saves paper. So you're not looking at like a journal like this, instead you're just using your device and so you're saving paper if you are cautious of that. Third, it's free, which is great. A lot of times planners can be expensive and I, like I said, I'm going to go into some cheaper or free alternatives later this week, but Google Calendar is completely free. So whether it's from your phone or your laptop or whatever, it's free to use, which is great. Saving a dollar is always nice. And lastly, I kind of touched on this before, is that it sends you reminders. Every time I put an event into my calendar, I always set it to send me a reminder an hour before the event, just so in case I just happen to never look at my calendar and I find myself in a situation where I'm supposed to be somewhere in an hour, and I get the alert, most likely I would be able to get there in an hour, which is always really nice. So that is a huge perk with a Google Calendar, or even if you're using like iCalendar, I guess, in your phone, I just think Google Calendar is a little bit more easy to use, a little more intuitive. A few cons. I really enjoy the process of writing things down, whether it's in a planner or a journal, I just really enjoy the aspect of like writing things down. I don't know if that makes me like old school or something, but I just like the process of writing and doodling and like penciling things into your notebook. I just feel like it helps me. And that is the one thing that they don't have in Google Calendar that is kind of a bummer. Second con is I just feel like it's not very creative. Like it's pretty to look at. You can make things different colors and stuff. But it's just, I don't feel very creative when I'm using it. A few hacks though, if you go into the Google Calendar app, you can actually set goals, which is really cool. You can set a goal for exercise, building a skill, spending time with friends and family, me time, and organizing your life which is really cool. And then it kind of asks you a series of questions. How often are you wanting to do this? When do you want to complete the goal? How many, how long do you want to do it per day? And then it kind of fits it into your calendar. So if you're using Google Calendar a lot and you have all of your appointments and work and everything in your calendar, 
it's going to build these goals into your calendar and so it kind of like suggests times that you would work out or I made one earlier for cleaning because I need to always clean and it gets overlooked a lot. And so it kind of fits it into your calendar, which is really cool and it's really intuitive and it's a great idea. And it's just, that's kind of nice. Another thing that's really cool with Google Calendar is that there is color coding and calendar sharing, which is huge. So I have like four different calendars in my Google Calendar. I have mine, I have my husband's, I have holidays, and I have like our coffee shop calendar, which is really helpful for when I am trying to figure something out, figure out dates, trying to look for availability, that kind of stuff. I can just look in Google Calendar, see it color coded by whoever it is. Mine's like a peachy color. I think Greg's is like blue, maybe? Coffee shop is red. And then you can kind of just coordinate the colors. If you want to make yours like a monochromatic color scheme or whatever you want to do, you can change the colors on everything, which is kind of fun. So it's a little creative, I guess, but it's not like artist creative. I don't know, <laughs> that's stupid. But there is some cool things that Google can help you with, which is really great. So through the course of this week, we are going to be looking at a few different things. Tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at the Happy Planner, which I have been using all of this year and really enjoying. So I'm going to show you a few things I've been enjoying and just kind of a brief overview of the planner. On Wednesday, we're going to be looking at the Passion Planner, which is a planner that was developed on Kickstarter. And it's kind of a really cool idea in that it takes a planner but like coordinates it around your goals and like things that you're wanting to accomplish that year. And so it kind of gives you like little reminders here and there of what you're supposed to be doing. And so it's really cool. And then on Thursday, we're going to be looking at the bullet journal. This is something that I've been super interested in. I've kind of done a few mock-ups over this last year of like trying the bullet journal, but never really committing to it. And so... I'm excited to share with you because I think it's really cool. It's a cool idea. It brings the idea of planning and like journaling together, which is great because for me, a planner has to include note pages, like a lot of note pages because I want to either journal or take notes and like meetings and stuff all in one book. I don't want to have to carry around two things because again, I like to write it, not type it in my computer. So I want to just be able to carry around one extra thing instead of like two extra things. And so that's a must for me, which really intrigued me about the bullet journal because it's totally whatever you want to make it. And then on Friday, we're going to be looking at like the build your own kind of a planner in which we are going to be building this planner from Target. You can find these in the dollar section all the time. They have little inserts that you can add to it and you can kind of make it whatever you want. This was my first ever planner that I had put together it was from Target, something like this, but it was a smaller one. And I'm actually gonna be giving this away. So if you are interested in this giveaway, stay around this week. I'll be giving details on that on Friday. I think that's it for today. I think that's everything. I think I covered everything. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and you want to see everything else that is coming on this planner week. I'm really excited to jump into this with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.